Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we're back to Assassin's Creed. We're going to unpause and get yelled at to get an animus, and then we're going to see the cutscene for the next set of memories. Lay back. We'll take care of the rest. Well, that wasn't quite yelled at. The guy far over there will yell at me eventually, but we probably should just hop in. So we will be moving on to... How many assassinations have we done so far? Like Time to start the program, three Disney. of nine. Memory block four is going to be three more. So that will get us up to six. Then the next memory section is two more. And then the final memory section is one more. And then we will get to the memory that we're trying to Let's actually go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Like I said, I'd get yelled at. I knew I would. You can use stealth kills to create a distraction. So... Me, Altair. You've done well. Three of the nine lay dead. And for this you have my thanks. But do not think to rest upon your laurels. Your work has just begun. I am yours to command, Master. King Richard, emboldened by his victory at Arca, prepares to move south towards Jerusalem. Salah Hadin is surely aware of this, and so he gathers his men before the broken citadel of Arsuf. Would you have me kill them both then? End their war before it begins in earnest? No. To do so would scatter their forces and subject the realm to the bloodlust of 10,000 aimless warriors. It would be many days before they meet, and while they march, they do not fight. You must concern yourself with a more immediate threat. The men who pretend to govern in their absence. Give me names and I'll give you blood. So I will. Abun Dukud, the wealthiest man in Damas. Majduddin, regent of Jerusalem. William of Montferrat, liege lord of Akka. What are their crimes? Greed. Arrogance. The slaughter of innocents. Walk amongst the people of their cities. You learn the secrets of their sins. Do not doubt that these men are obstacles to the peace we seek. Then they will die. Another of your items is restored. Take it. See that it is put to good use. Return to me as each man falls, that we might better understand their intentions. And Altair, take care. Your recent work has likely attracted the attention of the city guard. They'll be more suspicious than they've been in the past. Yeah, that's no good. So we get a DNA synchronization. Now, when, particularly on Altair, if you look at the scar on his lips, uh, it matches exactly with Desmond's scar. You very rarely get to see it, but you're practically looking at Desmond. So I now have a catch and ledge ability, which might explain why I couldn't make a jump in the previous episode. I was trying to make a very far jump and I simply could not catch the ledge. Let's see. Uh, so that certainly would explain that. Also kind of explains why you shouldn't bother to try and get any of the collectibles until you have all the abilities. So, let's see. I don't know where I can make a jump that where I can might re catch a ledge. No, too far. Again, we don't know what what these girls are doing out here. Just having a party, I guess. There's like no way to listen to them or hear what they're saying, if they are saying it, anything. Hmm. See, that looks like that would be something you'd be able to reach up there, but...
Nope. God save him! He's gone mad! That's one tick of health. No real problem when you can see we have a, a, a quite a lot of health. Altair, Look it at seems my scene. students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. The one time the game tries to take control of the camera, it messes that up. So, press the right trigger and press B when you see an enemy reach you to grab you and kick the enemy away. Alright? Oh, so all of a sudden when they could grab me, I can now counter it. The work of a master. So the fact that it's taken probably a third of the game for me to have some pretty useful abilities handed to me. You must be busy. Problem. I understand. It takes time to draw the blade. Ensure your first attack is also your last. Oh, it's fog. I'm running in the fog. Let's see. Wow. So this time, I can just select my destination. I don't even have to go to the kingdom. I'm just gonna cancel out though. That would be a little, a little silly. I wanna look over here and see if there's anything. I really wanna prove it to myself that I can get at least the flags of Mastiff. Uh, and the city is not called Mastiff. It's called Mazyev or something. Hmm. Oops. Why is he doing that? Acting like a lunatic, obviously. It's not a flag over there. What are those guys even guarding? In case somebody was gonna come in by boat, try to climb up the sides. So even the game wants me to speed it up here instead of running around the city trying to find collectibles. It's it said fine, forget the collectibles. Let's just run to the next section. But I want that last flag so badly. Where is it? Where is it hiding from me? Come on, game. Show me your secrets. I believe there's one more flag in here that I haven't gotten. What's wrong with you? be hidden somewhere pretty sneaky. Come on, flag, where are you? Here is one. So one more. I thought there was two, but uh, well, I had hoped there was one. <coughs> Last flag, where are you? Again, it's worth pointing out that ha unless I had printed out a map, there's no way to find these flags. You can't even look in this map section and look at all elements. It's just nothing. 
because there's no place to synchronize in this city. Which seems rather strange since this is the assassin's headquarters. <laughs> so they, they started to talk about the main crusade fight here. You have Saladin fighting to take over, I think, Jerusalem for the Muslims and King Richard trying to take over Jerusalem for, well, himself, but the Christians too. And then for himself in the name of Christianity is uh, pretty much always the case on both sides, really. Uh, Unfortunately, I don't think we ever meet King Richard or Saladin. Instead, we end up dealing with, there's a grab the ledge trick. We end up dealing with these people that are named, but their names very easily could just be made up things. There may very well have been no one by those names in that time frame. And almost certainly none of them mysteriously were assassinated. Hmm. Come on. I think I should probably avoid doing any leaps of faith for fear that I would miss something. wasn't a leap of faith, that was just jumping into a hay, but hay bale. Come up He's here. Going to cause trouble. Climb up here. Hmm. Where is that last one? God so, save him. He's so gone we'll mad. look at the memories eventually. This one kind of feels like you could jump in here and then jump out the other way, but you can't because it's right against the wall. We'll look at the memories and see which way we should go. Almost certainly it's back to Damascus. And in Damascus this time, the guard's presence will be a little bit more alert and we will be able to access at least two-thirds of the game of the area. Although, I kind of feel like we're only one-third of the game done. So... Again, I'm kind of wasting time to hurt himself. When he looking does, for I this last him. flag. Just kind of want to show my OCD-ness and just what your experience would be more like playing this game. When this game first came out and there wasn't as many games as there are now, it makes more sense to that you would actually spend the time here. There we go. So, Master Flags are now collected and all that really does is show you here that they're all collected. No extra video like in the next game um, in which you do get extra videos. Nothing at all. You can't hit a button here to, to bring up any information. It's not going to help you with your health. It's not going to give you an ability. Uh, simply here for achievements. And here we can see viewpoints for the kingdoms is another thing Killing all the Templars is another thing they want you to do. Then find 33 flags in Acre. Find 34 flags in uh, Acre. Find 33 flags uh, in Acre. Then five, uh, find 100 flags in Damascus. And then 100 flags in the Kingdom. Then 100 flags in Jerusalem so it's it's over 300 it's closer to 400 
things uh, to collect. It. Ridiculous number. Good news is now I can speed this up. Just wanted to get one of the collections on screen so people can don't have to just take my word for it. Now, when I do cover Assassin's Creed 2, I don't know how I'm going to deal with some of those things. I'm not sure if I'm going to bother to try and collect everything. I think it's a little bit easier on Assassin's Creed 2 because the map starts to help you a little bit. Or if I'll just get a save file after I play the game uh, th for the story and I'll just get a 100% completion save file. Uh, which is something you could probably do on a computer. A lot harder to do something like that on a PC. In fact, uh, I mean on an Xbox. In fact, when I played Assassin's Creed 2 on Xbox 360, the game corrupted my save file right at the very end, which was very devastating to me. So I got the, almost all the achievements and that was of course when I was really really obsessed with them unlike now when I'm only slightly obsessed with them. Um, so again, cutscenes here. Uh, they want me to go... Let's see. Let's just go to Damascus. It's, it's not even... Wow, we can just go straight to the Bureau? Alright. So we can just fast forward now. Use throwing knives to deal with distant enemies. Alright. So let's... see what we can do first. Let's look at the memory log and make sure... Damascus was right. Yes, it's gonna go Damascus, Acre, and then Jerusalem. And then let's look at the map. And I think we can just go here. I don't think we need to go talk to the Bureau or do the stuff first. In fact, we can actually find out what would happen. Let's see. If we have a... This is the assassination. This is the knowledge one. So, yeah. We want to go do all the investigation things. If I was just trying to speed run this game, I would simply w run right in there, get the assassination uh, mission, which I think it would give it to me, and then we would immediately run into, uh, run to the point where the assassination would take place and try and kill the guy. Of course, if you were speed running, you would have to be pretty good because your life would be very low and you wouldn't have a lot of things uh, a lot of abilities so this is the first one to synchronize with and almost certainly there was a wall right here And let's see. Can I hop up there? He should nope. stop acting like a child. Why is he doing this? Let's try that again. Is there a better way to get up there? Huh. Hmm. If you push up and you can't get up that high, then there's no way up. Interesting. So, I don't think I'm ever going to get the ability to jump higher. There must be a better way. 
I suspect this is the better way. Please, can't you spare something? I'm poor and sick and hungry. Please, sir, have any money? My family is sick and dying. Could you spare it? Like, if I can make it to... I need food. I'm so hungry. Just a little money. If I could climb down, maybe a little. All I ask is for a few coins. No, please don't please. Just a few coins, please. No, you don't understand. I have nothing. Maybe up here? Ah, uh, yes, that works. Just get on top of this building, finally. Notice it's getting a little bit more difficult to get to tops of buildings. It's been pretty simple up to this point. In fact, the whole game has been relatively simple up to this point. The most difficult w we've had was when the l our last assassination target started running away from us, and had we not planned ahead and saved some vigilantes to grab him and hold on to him, he might have escaped for a lot further of a run maybe even run far enough away to mess up the memory and have me, have me die and have to reset. I would bet you would die. I would bet that for the assassination it wouldn't just reset back to the very beginning. I, with the first synchronization you get all the second synchronization. I want to move this way and see if we can get into the middle district. This was the poor district, this is the rich district. I got another health bar. And the map's updated. So the question will become, are there going to be more guys in for the system of peril? And I don't think there are. It's still kind of just this one's actually kind of a small Thief! number you are let's go <sighs> please let's go 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 let us 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 go you can see because the guards are closer and more abundant. Even though there was only three I needed to kill, they called another four, it feels like. Thank you. Thank you. I'll find a way to repay this kindness, I swear it. Next synchronization point is what happened here? up this building. What's wrong with you? We get some more vigilantes. And having the right number of vigilantes is helpful, although I kind of feel like it's more of a situation of the vigilantes show up in a specific order. What happened here? And that specific order makes it so that you have to save all the citizens in peril before the vigilantes that you would need help for doing your final assassination missions will show up. That's how it seems like it worked last time. So if you don't want to do any of them, that's fine. If you want to do them all, that's fine, but I would highly suggest against not doing some of them and then quitting. So there is a wall we can see. So we know now that the middle district here is not a viable 
Yeah, oh, yeah, for this memory. That will come when we have to do the last assassinations, which are all separate and in a very specific order. My family Obviously. Could you spare uh, that makes a lot of sense. Please, can't you spare something? I could I'm pit pocket that innocent. guy. I wonder if I could pit pocket the no, beggar. You won't be disappointed. My family is sticking down. Oh, the next be no, That'd be funny if the beggars had money on them. Out of the way. The beggars here are decided, designed to make me run forward. I think that's their plan. Make, make me run forward. So then I have to... So then I might bump into a water carrier and cause a... A disturbance. Well, this isn't the one I was coming to save, but whatever. I'll have your hand for that. Now, you can pretty well tell I never try to grab. I never try to really block the grabs. Just all tapping on X. Uh, so however the, the game intends you to mix up these different attacks, they don't really help. They don't know it never doesn't really happen. Here we have some crazy people that will push you. They're new. So the guys are crazy, the women are beggars. It's it's almost the same concept. You may have noticed by this point that the fights are very repetitive. It's the same thing. Nothing is spicy in the last of them. I hope so. Still, best not to take any chances. I'll hurry home. I don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured, I won't forget it. Several of the things that are added to Assassin's Creed 2 are specifically designed around the the need to get rid of several people at once. Um, so you'll have things like smoke bomb. You'll have things like calling in uh, your assassin's friends. Uh, Several other things that make a little bit more sense. They, I believe, introduce a gun into the game. Kind of a mistake, in my opinion, but it, it, it helps a little. Where is... Here's the guy. Altair, my friend, my brother. It's been such a long time. Any news of Ada since she left? No? How sad. I'm sure you'll find her someday. I have heard that's like a his wife lying on top of Abul Nukud's girlfriend. head. Maybe I could help you, but I have a mission myself. I have four targets I must eliminate before noon. Let's cooperate, just like old times. Two for you, two for me. They are Abul Nukud's personal guards. You will spot them in minutes. Okay. So we're gonna go kill two guys. 
at least this guy is not doesn't feel like he's totally incompetent. He feels more like he's gonna give two two for him, two for me, unless of course there are only two and he's just uh, and those those guys are gonna be pains. I still have two minutes and thirty seconds though. Hopefully these guys are on the ground. He has one. Let me show you everything I have. Yep, he looks different. Now you can knock these guy these wood carriers over too, so this whole area is slightly dangerous. Quit begging people. Here's the other guy. And I can't walk that way. You'll notice the guards, they can walk through that memory just fine. It's only me. I need to hurry. I still have a minute. I need to come back and return to him. He has a move that all there weren't to more for him. Who wasn't that great? Just like in Alep, you remember? Here's something I found on one of the Merchant King's men. I think it's a map of where he has stationed his guards. I'm sure it will come in handy in your mission. Anytime you're in Damascus, come see me. You know my door is always open to you. Safety and peace, my friend. So the fact that they don't show us the map immediately when we get it is a big problem. Uh, it should work that way. Let's see. I want to go this way, I guess. Is there something that would just stop me from coming up and climbing to the, this building? Besides this beggar? Looks like you can just walk in here. In fact, it feels like this place is shockingly empty. I think an assassination does take place here, but why is it so empty now? That seems like poor programming. Can't grab on the this. Can't come over here. Are there a bunch of flags hidden all around here? Is that why this area is empty now? So you can climb around and get the flags? That still doesn't make sense. It is shockingly different to be in an area like this compared to a, a thriving full city that we've been in for all the rest of the game for it to all of a sudden just be like, well, nope, for the next few square uh, meters we're going to not show you anything or have anything to have any people around there. This definitely looks like a palace. Leave, peasant, before I make you. See, the guy sees me. No, he doesn't see me. So, I don't even know if there's a leap of faith anywhere. We've kind of found that there ten ha is a tendency for there not to be one. There is. So yeah, there's a flag right there, but 
in a shocking move, I'm going to ignore it. I'm just tired of wasting time. I think in a lot of ways I'm going to have to play Assassin's Creed around other games with a lot of collectibles so I can satisfy that itch on a more important game than a really old game. Ah, uh, got a dreamy. Thank you. Thank you. I'll find a way to repay this kindness, I swear. So, let's see. Where are we? This is another exit way to the let's see I guess we'll do this pit pocket mission next what is it that you want which way is he so we finally meet Probably something in there. Maybe something in there. Could be something everywhere. In a lot of ways. Where's the pit pocket guy? Here he is. Too close to pit pocket. It was good of you to come. It is an honor to serve. What do you require? The letter I've given you must be brought to Salah Adin's camp. Seek out the one they call Hisham. He will be able to help, but tell no one else of this. None will know my mission. Then our business is concluded. So this guy is being very paranoid, like somebody's trying to steal his thing. Almost messed that up. Leave me alone. I almost messed that one up. It took too long. The pit pocket minigame here is really just a following minigame. <laughs> it, it could use some improvement. Let's see. Is there a good way out of this place? I don't think there is. I was hoping there would be a hole in the roof. Nope. Alright. Let's just see if we can. Oops. Did you see that? Didn't even hurt myself. Just a few coins, please. A few coins. All I ask Out of my way. Not saving. He's going mad. Ah! What is he doing? I took damage because they hit me with a rock. I didn't take a dam any damage from falling off that building. Uh. Let's see. This is where I want to be. So. Jump. Oops. Well, those guards seem like they're guarding this area. Yes, they are. So, I've managed to accidentally maneuver myself into a good position. But I still need to get up higher to get on this building. Run back now. Ah, oh. uh, there's a piece of wood. So a heavily guarded building here. I'm trying to walk around here. 
so the guy will stop seeing me, whoever is seeing me. Not even sure. Had to walk around anyways to get to this point. There we go. Yeah, so in an Assassin's Creed 2, anytime you throw a knife in a guy, you can usually search the guy and pick up a knife. <laughs> Convenient, that is. I don't know how you could improve the pit pocketing, picket pocketing minigame, though, without just turning it into some annoying lockpicking minigame, which is, I think, kind of the danger there, is it will just become the next iteration of a very standard video game lockpicking mechanism, which this series has been mostly ignoring that we I don't think you ever do lockpick so. looking for them Don't die. Slightly different counter there. Kill that guy while he's down. It is weird too to, re to regain your, your health in the middle of a fight. She's shaking her hand. No, 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 don't don't talk to me until everybody's dead. Then I'll talk to you. Another minute and they would have made off with you. And it's him again. <laughs> so, I mean, it just potentially never stops. Potentially, it just never stops. Uh, and that's not the way any game should be. We want to get up to that building. So, I think I'm doing this the very slow way. Let's see. Jump. That may have actually been the only way up, up there though. Let's see, would this game be better if you could play as different characters? Not particularly, I think one main character is fine. I wish they had fleshed Alter Ears character out a little bit uh, more. All we kind of know is that he was obnoxious at the very beginning of the game and now he's mostly just neutral with a few small sections in which he's obnoxious. Notice there that it almost looks like you jump in the water, but remember you'd die instantly if you did jump in the water. And yet the game is going to have us jump back and forth between some water areas, just to remind us of that fact. Oh, can't believe I caught that. Fall in the water. Fortunately, they also draw, drown when they hit the water. Apparently, nobody can swim in this universe. Of course, it might just be that the simulation can't have the people 
swim. And at a certain point you have to assume that's what really is happening here. Is not any of the real actions are taking place. Instead you're just implanting a tiny memory into a simulation program that is filling in 99.9% .9 of the details and only the small bit of information that you actually would genetically member, remember are true and everything else is false. Of course, humans have not been shown to have any genetic memory while other animals have a small amount of it, it seems. Uh, so, the whole thing is really bunk. Your truth is, I just don't think the human brain is designed that way. It's so focused on communication and facial recognition that if we were going to have any genetic memory, we probably wouldn't be able to, to act the way humans act. It would be nice if we had genetic memory somewhat, but there is kind of also a blessing in... Uh, there is a bit of a blessing in that we actually forget things, because if we didn't forget things, we would probably be angry at people for what their great-great-grandpas did. Our days may be dark, but thanks to him, our evenings are now filled with light. The Merchant King provides for one and all. We're gonna he interrogate slash return. punch this guy. Let his generosity serve as but an example to us all. people keep getting suspicious Everyone of me, I don't know why. To be as he. Um... What is it? Well, that's not gonna work. You've something to say? No, you must not trespass here. Come no further. What the fuck? Satan, he's gone mad. Gotta catch up with this guy. I'll teach you to take a fight. <laughs> Different interrogation puzzle there. We actually had to figure a way to do there. I'll talk, I'll talk. I've no interest in dying for him. His coin's not worth my life. A wise decision. What is it you want? I have business with the merchant king. Ha! Huh? Good luck with that. He rarely leaves his chambers. Why? Is he afraid? Not fear. Hate. He hates himself as much as he hates the people he pretends to serve. Locks himself away in his personal quarters out of shame. He can't stay hidden forever. No. No celebrations of his. He comes out to speak. To look down upon the people. A sense of belonging, I suppose. However brief. What's wrong with him that he would hide like this? You'll see. Now let me go. Let you go? So you can tell him of my plan? I won't say a thing. No, you won't. So, yeah, this is like the only information we get about Altair. Is that he is definitely happy and willing to kill people. And... <laughs> Another flag I'm willing to leave alone. Let's see. We're in this section, so we might as well climb to the top of that tower. Why are you telling me? Mm. This 
pretty important at this point to just have the throwing knives always set up. Almost missed the jump there. It's forbidden for you to be here. Uh, there we go. Up. Up here. So again, this area feels like somewhere where you would do an assassination. Where you're kind of running into too many areas with assassinations in them. So unless in the final three uh, games we assassinate a couple of extra people in the final three memories, it seems like there's just some areas that were very well designed for no reason. We've got a flag, informer flag challenge right here. So let's... Wow, hmm. barely made that with the grab, ledge grab. Alright, so he's right down there. In the middle of this place. And I can't get to... Can't get close enough to lock on to the informer. This is gonna be interesting whether I manage to start a fight here. Safety and peace. You want information about the city, I suppose? Knows the guy in the background right not now walking. I don't have time. I must find some flags which have been stolen from our cache in the rich district of the mask. Why do we need flags as heat, assassins? My legs cannot carry me anymore. Would you be kind enough to help me? Return with the flags, and I'll help you as best I can. It's so ridiculous. It, I mean, just straight up ridiculous logic and reasoning. We need flags, so go get these flags. It's like, what? What are you talking about? We're assassins. We don't collect flags, we collect scalps. No logic, no reason, no rhyme. Just do it because it's a video game. I guess. Trust video game logic. As you can see here, we've gone a minute. No real problem. We have five more to do. What is that fool doing? They don't even see the flags. Which way is the next last one? Here it is. So now I've got a minute fifty to come back here and talk to him. I Thank thought you. it was gonna be Benefic a lot harder. will be happy to see these flags return. Perhaps this morsel of information will help you. I was invited by Abul to one of his Standing lavish way parties. Too close to him. I noticed the fountain in the middle of the Merchant King's palace could be easily climbed. Use this information wisely. Now, if you'd excuse me, I must go. That could have been so much more difficult. I assumed it was going to have us climb up here and go all the way around the building and do several other things. But no, none of that. Interesting. Seems like these guards don't really care if you walk past them too much. Here's a set of guards that don't seem to care if I walk past them. I'm starting to wonder if maybe the AI for some of these guards is simply broken in the game and that they are supposed to be suspicious of me and attacking me and I'm and they're, they're simply frozen. It's a rarer bug when something like that happens, but it's not impossible. Like, I assume these guys are gonna just get mad at me. Hmm. 
Your life is your See? That's right, Why are you doing I noticed that the guy ran away when was being harassed. So I don't believe this counts. A save system Although it totally should. This would be a great way to, to simply speed up the process of saving the system apparel by just running like, like a lunatic and having other guards chase me. And good question would be where. Uh, where would I be low if I die? Because I made it die here. This is not working out great for me. Let's try something like this. Yeah, it's just like this. This is a waste of one more hit. Come on. There's no penalty for death. I believe in Assassin's Creed 2 that you lose some money. It is wise to leave. So I'm back here. Hmm. Maybe by dying I will perhaps have reset the AI a little bit better. It's not quite high enough to reach that. I guess I could jump over there. Maybe climb over right here. And This almost feels like I would be near the Assassin's Bureau. Alright, there's the guy. Guy's harassing that guy. So let's slowly walk up to here and do it like we normally do. Get on top of <laughs> nope, didn't work. <laughs> The fact that it takes two hits to hit him with the ground is annoying. That was a low blow. Gaining more attention. What if I grabbed him? Do it. Knocked a couple of them over. I suppose, look at that, three hits on the ground, and the body goes spinning. More guards are coming. It's too much. It was too much even in the first level. It's gotten even crazier with the increased security. What are they going to do in the last three memories? Have me fight uh, 20 people? Thank you. I'll find a way to repay this kindness, I swear it. It really stops feeling like it's worth it to go through these. Although it almost certainly is worth it to go through these because it is getting you the things that you would want, such as vigilantes and extra health, which are two of the most permanent upgrades you can get in this. Let's see. Did not mean to really jump into that, but whatever. 
It was just in the way. Next set of citizens in peril. Away with you. Let's see. Hmm. We can do whatever we wish. I believe yes, there is a collectible. They have a tendency to be in areas like that. Don't talk to me, please. So shouldn't be here. We can do be gone. whatever we wish. <laughs> Please, I've done nothing wrong. Why are you nowhere to run, old man? Like this is a scholar one. You're hurting me. Bohraban West. In your death, you will die here. So, getting scholars that would help them in and out of that area would be nice. Might have even helped with that challenge. But as you can see, there's a couple other ways. Thank you, my boy. I only wish my sons were half as great as you. I'll see to it that we hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. What's this body is typical ragdoll mechanics going on over here with the body. His body was falling in falling through this bench or because it couldn't decide which way it wanted to go. Alright. So, we have this, 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 this. Probably some more on top of that, too. Let's see. There's two more actual missions, three more citizens in peril, three more viewpoints. To do before we do the assassination and I will I suppose try to get I mean I'll I suppose I'll try to get to the viewpoints in the kingdom so I'll ride from this point to Maziev or whatever that city is called the, our main first city just so we can at least get all the eagle eye synchronization points done not that that's really gonna do anything for the steam version of this game again that would just have been an Xbox 360 achievement and I don't know who really would care about getting those in 2016 anyways that's gonna be it for this recording as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment if you want to and watch every second of my videos all of that helps out if you want to support me you can click on my name Rido on the right is a blue button that says support this channel click it make a donation and if you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below thank you for watching have a good evening